Yahoo! Hello everyone, I'm Rinkus, a linker of nature and civilization. Welcome back to Persona 4. Uh, how long has it been? How long has it been? I don't I don't really know. All I know is that we rescued Kanji and that we are planning basically our summer holidays. Like Okay, it's a good time. It's a good time to say uh, my internet connection has been acting weird today. Like it's going all right, but there are some moments in which it's it's not okay. <coughs> okay, sorry. Also, I still have a cough, but I'm feeling way way better. Um, okay. So as I was saying. Um, yeah, there will be some moments, I think, in which, by the way, I think it's too loud. That should be better, I think. Yeah, uh, there will be some moments, probably, in which the internet connection will just dip, but I hope it's not too bad. That said, let's keep going. Okay, it's going to be that bad, apparently. Okay, hello, it's me. How's your schedule tomorrow? Let's go inside the TV. 
You know, we have to keep training just in case. I'm not gonna force you, so don't stress over it. Just get hang up. You thought about exploring the TV world tomorrow? I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I can't promise anything, though. You realize that you haven't bought anything. I won't. I won't. I am struggling with money. Gonna save. Uh, to -to Which detective? For young readers, reading it may increase understanding the audience. And office work manual. Uh, yo que sé. Okay, sorry. Apparently it's gonna be bad. Apparently it's gonna be bad. Let's read this, I don't know. For example. You begin reading Witchy Detective. A plottingly written romantic comedy about a girl on her first day of school in a new town. Vampires are involved. Oh, we are reading Twilight. <laughs> are we reading Twilight mixed with Harry Potter? The content of this book was almost physically painful for you to read. Okay, it is Twilight. <laughs> there are still some pages of which detective left. You decide to save them to read next time. Epic. Why do I keep reading though? I don't feel like it. You over here is still in stalking. <coughs> the school camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Alright. It's gonna be all work. I'm not gonna have any fun at all. Uh, there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. I will break your arm, maybe? Okay, um, ba -bum. should we go inside the TV? I want to use a scooter, though. Oh, hey, Yumi. Hey! Hey, Rinku-kun, practice is today. You're going to come, right? Nah. Huh? Let's not. Let's not. I want to use a scooter. I don't want to go inside the TV today. Is this scooter you got from Dojima? What would you do? Ride around the neighborhood, of course. Nyam, 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 nyam. <coughs> nyam. We going? Where is it? Okay, sorry, sorry, my internet left at all. Like, yeah. Um, I hope it that's better now. I hope it doesn't lose as many frames anymore. Okay. Nanako is watching TV today as usual. If you want, you can change the channel. Yeah, uh, no, I want to. I want to. Uh, how was he called? Na 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 na. Tanaka? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 you might as well try a magic trick. I'm really bad with those, but okay. Uh, I actually know one magic trick in real life. I know how to perform exactly one magic trick. <laughs> but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you how it, how it is performed. Nanako is watching curiously. You decide to show her a magic trick. By the way, um, I don't want to jinx it. But it seems like the internet connection is going better now. Wait, hold on. 
yeah, it, it feels like it is. Yep. You put the rubber band on your index and middle finger. Middle finger? You also hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? When you open up the hand, you close lightly. The rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring finger and pinky. Not gonna lie, I, I, I didn't understand anything at all. <laughs> ah, shit. I saw it. It went like zoom. Wait, but did did she catch it or not? Looks like she didn't, after all. She seemed to like it anyway. Oh, she did then. Okay, my turn now. Nanako is laughing cheerfully. The night continues. Well, okay. Pum pum pum. Yo, yo, partner. <laughs> Wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about, I've been on Cloud9 all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles for us find out to Okina after school? You know, you once promised you will. When did I promise that? The up close and personal plan, eh? Hey, you remember? That's my partner. It's time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on City Ghost plan in action. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's hit. Let's head there as soon as classes let out. Um, can I go to Okina all by myself? I'm still training, you know. Oh, Maruka, school camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing all around all the time. <coughs> I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send home anyone who brings down the morality. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between morals and morality? Morals are about virtue. Morale is... Tell me, Hanamura, you seem to be lacking in morals. Wasn't in morale? Is that me, King Moron? I thought I knew, but now I'm doubting myself. Sir Rinka told me what morality is. Uh, a reward, desire to grow, cheerfulness in a group, gambling spirit. <laughs> I'm not that bad of a friend, but I will I will say that. One hundred percent. But it's cheerfulness in a group, right? Hey, hold on. I just want to make sure I'm not losing frames because I thought I will, but seems like it's okay. You get him the answer you think is correct. Oh, that was unexpected. Did you tell him the answer, Susumu? I have not. I am innocent. Anyway, yes, morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group for an individual within a group. Do you remember when those women were killed? Why, why bring in that up now? It's shit like that brings down people's morale and their morals. And maybe they'll all happen to you if you keep living lives of low morals and low morale. A lot of thing to say. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Thanks, Rinku. I don't want to think what he'd say if I miss that. Josuke appreciates you. Who doesn't? We felt you become a little closer to Josuke. Your expression has increased. I'm just that much of a chan. Oh, there we go. Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. He actually followed us all the way here. <laughs> By the way, um, one thing I I thought about recently is, uh, you know, two of my expressions are scare and surprise. Okay, this is scare. That is scare, and this is um, surprise. But you know what, you know what, I actually think this is more surprise than scare. It fits better, I think. Doesn't it? I, I really like this expression, though. 
<laughs> he actually followed us all the way here. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. That was a breeze. What a man! It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Did you guys shoot? Left you in the dust. Did you guys shoot? See me driving. I'm basically that. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okinawa, uh, there, there's this craft shop. <laughs> it, it, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. What kind of stuff exactly? Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit. So you guys get started without me. So why did you come with us if you're not gonna be with us? Then why did he come with us? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Our plans are more important. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Yeah. You just had to wait here for a while. The early summer sunlight feels nice. Three hours passed. <laughs> and I'm still here waiting. The early summer sunlight beats down. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. What did you get no in the luck, end? Huh? No luck. <laughs> this is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Oh, we are being observed. I don't get that at all. That seems unlikely. I want to go home. That seems unlikely. Uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer. Yeah, three more hours. Yeah, of course. Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, that way I won't be all hot, you know. I mean, I'm I'm hot, but not in that sense. <laughs> well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. It's Yosuke's fault. It's Kanji's fault. Is it my fault? It's never my fault. It's Yosuke's, of course. It is. Wow, I can't believe you said yeah, that. Yeah, because you're ugly and I am not. <laughs> You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. I mean, that's fair. Does it like not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? I mean, you to brought a bike, you know? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. Like those one, like the people going to Route 66 uh, ride. I think that those are the ones that work. Not this thing. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold hard reality. That's harsh reality. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. At least you work. So I don't. Can you give me ten minutes? I mean, I kinda I work, but when when I feel like it. I'll avenge you guys. I'll avenge you guys? Who are you gonna hate on? This isn't a fight, you know. Is he going to hit on Naoto? What are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Beat up Thanos? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? Come on, we have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? I mean... Unlike Cass, he's kinda strong, you know. Not alone, I think... It's attractive by itself. Kid Rimming Kanji, I'll do the avenging here. Three minutes is all I need. Three minutes is all I need. What are you saying? <laughs> Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. Now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. <laughs> oh, Yosuke, you're so based for that, being scared of women after all. 
Just like me. <laughs> that just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Nothing to it. I don't think that's how it works. Well, it's not as simple as this. Is that's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko senpai had. That's a that's a that's a ball bet, you know. Only girls count for this, all right? <laughs> You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell, if I'm gonna lose this. Bye. In a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest. Alright, what are we gonna hit on? This girl here, or maybe this policeman? Look at him. Uh, but, oh, match your women. Let's go. Did you hear? Sato san is a grandmother now. Oh, even better. <laughs> really? But didn't their daughter just come of age? Three, there are a couple of housewives here. Maybe you should talk to them. Yes. What is it? <laughs> Wait, which which option is better? I don't know. I'm hitting on you guys. Can I get your numbers? <coughs> Both of them are really good options. Can I get your numbers? Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Wait, actually, actually, let's do something else. Let's do something else. Uh, we are, are gonna uh, use uh, the roulette. We're gonna use the roulette. Uh, who was it called? Well, of names, I think. Yeah. Okay. So. We have a to on one hand we have I'm hitting on you guys. I'm hitting on you guys. Oh. On the other hand we have can I get you numbers? <laughs> can I get your numbers? Okay, can I get your numbers? There it is, okay. Punk. <gasps> yes! Can I get your numbers? <laughs> it's decided then. It's decided. Okay. Can I get your numbers? Oh my god, what would you do with an old lady like me? Oh, don't tell me. Don't, 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 let, don't let me say it. Out loud. <laughs> Though, well, I shouldn't brag, but I was the talk of the town in my younger days. I know, you still have it. Me too. The men in town couldn't stop talking about me. They called me the Black Widow. Oh. The what? Okay, never mind. I'm no longer interested. Oh, you're making me remember, remember things. <laughs> the housewives seem to be enjoying themselves in this conversation. You're a handsome one, though. I'm sure you must be popular at school. If I was popular at school, would I go to Okina to hate on girls? Probably not, right? You look serious, but I bet you played out the field. Not really. I'll take whatever's there, no comment. I don't know uh, what does he mean by I'll take whatever's there, but I'll no comment. I, I, I really want to pull them. Oh, no, I'm curious. <laughs> but you be careful with women. If you fool around too much, you'll enrage some poor soul, and then you'll go to hell. <laughs> 
Guys, I'm scared actually. The housewives are having fun. But the conversation doesn't seem to be going anywhere. You should give up asking for their number. Disappointment. A little time passed. Oh, Joe's case had it. Uh, ooh. Hello. Gosh, dang it. Nothing today again. There is an older woman here. Maybe you should talk to her. I already am. Oh, can I help you? You seem young. How old are you? What do you do? I'm a fresh faced high schooler. I'm a go getting college student. I'm a hard working student. Um, this, it, this won't be believable, you know. If I say this, she's going to reject me, like, really quickly. I'm a go-getting college student. Hmm, well, you meet the age requirement. And the height looks and looks requirements. Wait, okay, I'm, I no longer like you. I guess the only thing left is your potential to become great someday. I, I no longer like you. Never mind. The woman keeps looking at you. Are you the oldest child? Second oldest? What's your family structure like? Do you like... Do, do you live with you? Do, do you live with your parents? Is your parents' house a rental or do they own? Is it a house or an apartment? The woman has a rapid fire stream of questions. Oh, sorry. I just like knowing these things. So, uh, as not to give you the third degree here, let me introduce myself. I'm a homemaking assistant. By trade and my, my hobbies are gardening and traveling. And I'm a groovy hip with it, 23 year old. I'm older. <laughs> Some things... Uh, it actually hit me deep inside. It, they named it, they named her older woman. And it's younger than I am. Okay. Something rings strange about what she just said. Is she really 23 years old? <laughs> okay, that's better. I've really been lonely lately. My bed feels so... Guys? Guys? I play around... I played around with guys before, but I can live my whole life as a tease. I mean... Where this is going? Where, where is this going? I, I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. So I thought I should settle down. Uh, she's looking at you expectantly. I'm your man! <laughs> What's normal about that? Wow, where's your freaking man? I'm your man. Well, that is so sexy. I can help it, you know. On our anniversary, you should take me out to eat. French or Italian will be nice. We can split the housework and I'll care. One week, thank you. Oh, do you like kids? How many do you want when we get married? I actually have my health of a marriage license, so we'll fill out. I'm ready to go, I'm game whenever you are. Actually, do you want to sign it now? What? To sign it? This seems like a good time to come clean about the fact that you're in high school. What? Second year of high school? You're just a kid. Don't make passes at me, you stupid little boy. If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Go talk to someone else. I mean, at least she has... Um... Her... Uh, how is that called? She's a good girl in, in that way, in that sense. The woman's attitude suddenly changed. You should give up on asking for her number. Why? <laughs> I mean, she was a big red flag though, with all those questions, and she was so quick too. Oh, hi, Kanji. Okay, let's ask. Hey, you look really nice. Hello. A oh, beautiful lady. Oh. There's a gorgeous uh, woman here. Will you talk to her? Yes. Hmm? Well, there's a cute boy like you want with me. Guys? We got it. Are you alone? I'm hitting on you. It's love at first sight. I have a feeling this is the one. Um, well, I'm waiting for someone. <laughs> Are you making a pass on me? I kind of like younger boys. There in
Innocent and adorable. It makes me want to educate them about some things. Hmm, how do you feel about older women? I mean, it really depends on on how old are you, I guess. Like, if I'm... Let's imagine I'm 16. If she's 17, that's completely fine. But it gets a little bit weird after that. And that's for not saying illegal, you know? But I guess I had to play by the game, so... Oh, really? Then we might be a good match? <laughs> Uh, but how old are you? Hey, do you really want to hang out? Not today, I mean, and not if you don't want to. But if you want, I could teach you a lot about how grown-ups play. Why is it being so sexual today? Things are going well. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'd say they are. One more push and you may be able to get her number. Uh, well, do you want to play with me? To play? Yes, please! Wait, what will we play? What will we play? <laughs> I think I'll, it'll be easier to show you than to explain. Guys! But I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time? This is your chance to ask her for her phone number. Will you try to get her tickets? Yeah, sure. Alright, here you go, just for you, call me, won't you? You got the lady's cell phone number. I'll be waiting. You took more time than expected. You need to meet up with your friends. How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. Also, now that I think about it, wouldn't it be weird? Whatever... Whoever I... I hit on like if it was a minor it was weird for me personally that's why I targeted older women basically I mean not like I this is okay this is sounding very very wrong I mean I hit on older girls of course adults you know what I mean but he is a minor is he not so hitting on older women Will be weird too, you know. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? <laughs> a girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? Oh no, Candy. <laughs> How dense are you? There's no way that counts. <laughs> What about you? Did you get anything? He's so confused. Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. Now I call her and it's Taco Bell. Please? How many times are you going to beg? So you're going to call her, right? Right? She picked up. Oh, Senpai's the man. <laughs> uh, hello? Uh, excuse me? Oh, she was a VTuber. That's, that's what's going on here. I see. Okay. So, she's not using the voice changer now. I see, I see. Naru hodo, naru hodo. You hear an unfamiliar man's voice on the other end of the line. <laughs> Let me talk to the girl. Oh, I get it. It's you, huh? You rat bastard. You're dead, shitbird. <laughs> what? How dare you hit on my girl? I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck. Um. Uh... I may be, I may be dumb, but guys, I think, I may be crazy, but I think this is not a good sign. I'm not sure, though. You better not call again, got it? 
I can hear him from here. <laughs> Is that dude for real? No, that's probably a prank. What was well, he doing with her phone, that's though? A risk you take. What was he doing with her phone? That's kind of toxic, you know. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy too. She was crazy hot. <laughs> I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. You're, you're. How how is that called in in English? In in Spanish, it's like uh, you're being a ghost. You know, you're being a ghost. Like when you. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Uh, when when you um, keep telling lies in order to make yourself look better or look cooler, like for example, oh yeah, I I um, get a, a phone number every day, for example, and I meet up with girls like every day with different ones. Yeah, you're being a ghost. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. It's me. Yosuke kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Hmm. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? <laughs> oh no, she's crazy. Of course I know your name. Oh. The music. It's no longer there. That's a bad sign, I think. Huh. We go to the same school. Hey. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. What do you mean, that voice? Didn't you ask her her phone? This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Eh? I'm really confused. Oh god, I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? One more try. Hello, it's me. <laughs> yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? The hell was that? <laughs> Sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. <sighs> I could feel a chill go down my spine. A Demi Fiend? Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Oh, she's here. The music. <laughs> Hanako-san! Why are you here? The countryside's no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, motorcycle is being generous, you know? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! My motorcycle! Well, you're going to get all close and personal with me after all. Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. I won't make any comment. I'm not gonna. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Holy shit. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? Oh. Isn't that a slur? Ain't that a slur? 
I'm not sure because this is a such a actually a delicate uh, issue in in Spain because you know uh, here that is not considered as law, okay. Um, however, I read that in in English it actually is. So I won't I won't even say that word just in case. I want to be respectful to everyone. Cheer up, my boy. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Yeah, you have to go uh, up close and personal with me. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Oh. Disappointing. Whoa! Up close and personal! <laughs> I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. It is? It's okay. Just put an end to this suffering already. You saw Josuke off to the station and decided to go home with Kanji. You should be able to come to Okinawa on your own now, if you have enough experience with your scooter. Which I don't. But why would I go to Okinawa? What for? Welcome home! Hello! Oh, hi! Dun, da, da, dun. Oh. Okay, hello. Good morning, Rinku Kung. School camp starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? We should do that, yeah. Okay. I'll be sure to let Chi and Jessica come now then. Hydration check. Janice's grocery department. He came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions. I've never tried curry. Mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes. Are radishes the same as turnips? They aren't, are they? They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. I mean, that's debatable. Like, you guys have sushi as well. Or ramen. Or takoyaki. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry. But I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. What do you mean now? If you gave me one bowl of ramen, I will be full after two spoons. Two spoonsfuls. A spoon hmm. I wonder spoonful. what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. I wonder why. Mm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. Flour? There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Wait, you need flour to to make curry? Hmm, whole oh, wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. This is looking very bad. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. That's not looking good, guys. 
What's the next? You're going to put some There's chocolate in? Times, though. Black and white. Whoa! Way to go, Yukiko! The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Look, I, I, I said chocolate as a joke. No. Something on TV about that. I think it was um chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. No. No. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. No. Oh. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. What? What the hell? You guys are crazy. Welcome back. Okay. Enter a twilight. You have to. Today is the first day of the school camp out. You should hurry to the meeting place. Da. Ikuyo. School camp at dusk. <sighs> Panako. Picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi in behind her food. You know it's gonna be out of this world. I suddenly feel ill. Uh, you shouldn't eat it. All oh, right, because Yukiko. Yeah, right. I forgot about that. Yukiko is a terrible cook. I'll give you mine too. Huh? Why so <laughs> generous all of a sudden? It's okay, man. Just enjoy. I can't wait to dig in. Taste this? Huh? Only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. Oh no. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um. I'm not gonna eat that. We put a lot of love into it. That's what mothers, right? Well, really? That's kind of cliched, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. It was a nice meeting you, Josuke. <laughs> He's fucking dead. Hey. <laughs> Holy shit, he's mad. Curry's supposed to be like really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. <laughs> and it's gritty too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy. I mean, it's got squishy parts in it. Uh oh. Ugh. Horrible. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. <laughs> Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. That's a way to put it. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm not. No. Why Don't are you looking at me? Don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. <laughs> You're being looked at with expectation. 
eat it, decline the offer, pretend to eat it, and discard it. That's probably the best option. Chen Yukiko is staring at you. It doesn't look as uh, though you'll be able to fake to fake it. Oh no! The second you put it in your mouth, you sense that something is wrong. You can tell after one bite that this isn't edible. There's no way you can swallow it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, holy shit, Hanako! Oh, we're sorry. Sorry. Sorry for almost killing us? Oh no, don't mention it. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. <laughs> mystery white the X. Something smells good. Oh, we are gonna steal Hanako, huh? Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. I mean, yeah. Kinda. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! No way! <laughs> uh, I'm on a diet right now, what? so this is all that I made. It has to last me. A diet? All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. Yeah. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, after bed! Lights out! He's gonna get drunk. Interesting, I, I want to see that. Can, can we sneak in? I'd like to see that. I'd really, I really like to. You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. <laughs> well, okay, bye. Inside Rinko and Joe's Damn it. Also, Kanji is so apparently. Hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? <laughs> My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's ten is all quiet. It's like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. <laughs> so it's okay if I hang out here? <laughs> Only for a little while. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you guys. Besides, the first years are all asleep by now, so I won't get caught unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, Senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope, there's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? <laughs> that guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. Well, you should have punched him. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? Again? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. 
Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Why are you hitting? Nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? <laughs> These games are relatable. We all we always say the same things. Animal cracker? <laughs> what the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. <laughs> the penguin. Penguin? <laughs> Stop. The secret animal cracker. You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't going to fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you got to say for yourself after taking my snacks. Yes. Any, any problem? Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there. Or my back's going to break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? <laughs> I already told you. He's gonna say something like, you should have gone to the girls. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you really, you know... Am I really what? <laughs> what I mean is, um, <laughs> are we gonna be safe alone with you? What? <laughs> Holy shit. What, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Uh, it turns out we weren't safe after all. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm... Well... How do I put it? Uh... Oh god, don't trail off like that, you're freaking me out! I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. To hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girls' tent right now. Uh, wait, well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stop a man like me. Dude, seriously going for it. Hey, man, you gotta stop him. Yeah, I'm gonna get punched if I do that. Go get him, tiger. Hell yeah. Now you'll see. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. <laughs> uh, hey, wait. What a putz. I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Meanwhile, inside Chi and Yukiko's tent. Oh. oh. Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep, we can't walk around. That's called karma. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. He's probably pretty boring. Pretty bored, yeah. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... <laughs> 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 
She's going insane. That does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. I mean, it can be. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? What are you gonna do? Kill her? Holy no, shit. No, 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 Yukiko, no! That's a little bit extreme, don't you think? The, the poor guy doesn't know what did he get himself into. Hey, are you guys still up? Oh, yeah. Hello. What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. <laughs> Are there any rotten apples out and about? Oh, he's he's any drunk. Indecent students out there? He's drunk after all. <laughs> all right, hurry up and get in. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji Kun. Hmm. He's out cold. What do you mean? What do you mean by I, that? I don't he just came in and then and then he he fainted all of a sudden. That's cool. Conqueror's Haki. That's all, right, Yukiko? Oh, that's not all. I see. Okay. Huh? Uh, yeah. I understand now. Yeah. Okay. So there was no way you probably bonked him with there. with a you pan know, or something. If we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off. No one found out. <laughs> we are being very discreet about all this. Can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me. <laughs> we are not here. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. <laughs> Is he gonna fall for that? Don't get cute, Hanamura. <laughs> Shut up and go back to sleep. Even even if he's drunk. He's not down. Uh, I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. Doesn't King Moron kinda look like the protagonist of Shin Megami Tensei 5? <laughs> Doesn't he? It seems like King Moron left. King Moron is uh, the protagonist of Shin Megami Tensei 5 when he grows old. It's a he, right? Maybe I'm grown, but I think it's a he. No joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! Well, well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now! We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow! Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. A steak? You set up a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings. You spend the night cramped up in a tight space. Oh no. That's not good. They are ruining our camp out. The next day, the students were all dismissed in the morning. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just. I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke Senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. 
All right then, let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? Then I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. Yeah. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. Why not? I mean, we do owe you, but... I'm not understanding anything. Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the lies. Don't say that out loud. Knowing Josuke, he's probably gonna say something like, well, yeah, well, I don't care. Even better. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. Oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. <laughs> Not see many wars somehow. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> okay, we gotta admit that you got played, Chie. Yeah? You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Whoa. The kanji. Stop staring like that. Hey. You two look cute. You look cute, Chie. You look cute, Yukiko. Do, 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 do. <laughs> where, where did that come from? They won't seem embarrassed. Man, this is going even better than I expected. And why didn't Kanji change? Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Don't you think so? You have a point there. I don't know about that. Wait, can, can I check them? How could I check it? Oh, there. Those girls might. I don't feel comfortable with any of these options. You guys cross the line. You guys cross the line. Definitely. Uh, but I, I didn't. Uh, they forced me. I didn't want to say anything. Hey. <gasps> it's freezing. You, you didn't have to push us in. Did you know uh, that could have killed us? There's a guy on rock right there. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? Don't, don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. What? <laughs> Why are you bleeding? Kanji has a nosebleed.
What was that for? That was close. What, what was that for? I didn't do anything. That's what I saved. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? It seems that King Morong is vomiting further up the river. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh no. Yeah. Senpai. Don't say it. That's gross. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. This has been a horrible camp out. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Uh, you, okay, never mind, Nanako. Bye. Oh, no one's calling us? You realize? Okay. Ah, uh, to to to. Can I go out by myself? Let's see if we can rank up something. I'm not interested. Sorry, old man. Heartbreak, heartbreak, you can't do do Heartbreak, heartbreak, da 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 da. Heartbreak, heartbreak, do 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 do. We want Koro to come back, please God, Saito. Since the fox wants you to fulfill the wish written on the Emma on his behalf. Could it be thinking that if wishes are fulfilled, the more money will be put into the offer tree box? If you fulfill the wish on the Emma, your relationship with the fox may grow stronger. Accept the request? Yes. We wish our dog will return. Fox seems happy. Okay, let's look for a dog. Let's look for the dog. It's probably on the um, float plane, right? Still looking, still looking. Oh, heartbreak, heartbreak. Oh, The dog ran away. Perhaps this is the dog referred to the two on the Emma the fox showed you. But it seems to be wary of you. Your dog will either return here anytime soon. You should look for it another day. So I'm guessing I need something. To lure him closer. Probably something like a steak or something. Steak? Can I even buy something like that? I love the I love the shop um OST
Is there nowhere I can buy a steak or something? Oh. Okay. We've got it. Now, uh, I can rank up any social link, it seems. Right, there's no one here, it seems. Can I even go to the school? No, not this one. No, I can't. Oh, Yosuke. Yo! Okay. Alright! Yosuke pretty much barge in. Hmm, it's pretty clean. So, you keep the goods under your foot on? What, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I hide mine in such an obvious spot. A long time my mom found it and read the title out loud for the whole family. Just case reflecting on his past. So, you ever invited a girl in here? I will soon. Reels? Seriously? That means you're working on someone. This case, Kayla. Kayla. Hey, Are you up there? Have you seen the public notice anywhere? Nanako chan's here. Let's let her in. Nanako chan, are you free today? No, I'm going to Takayoshi Gun's house with Miwa chan and Jo chan. Huh? A, a guy's house? Takeyoshi kun sits next to me. I'm going to deliver the polling notice to him. Miwa chan said she's going with me because she likes Takeyoshi kun. <laughs> because she likes him? <sighs> Man, kids sure are major these days. Well, my first love was in first grade too. I've always been ahead of my time. But, well, I don't really need that in my life right now. It's just not the time. I have something I need to do before that can happen. Homework? No, well, maybe this. You're smart, Nanako chan. Nanako left for her friend's house. Nanako chan called it homework. Catching the killer, ending the murders, bringing peace to the town. Only we can do it, huh? Let's hang in there. I'm counting on you. Just because determination shows through. You seems Yosuke's uh, trust. Yosuke can now cure several ailments during battle. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so did the notice reach you yet? The one about joining the Young Men's Association? They were talking on having some kind of event to boost the economy. Yonis is involved with it, so they're trying to rope me in. I didn't have time for that. I told them I was busy, but they keep talking me. I don't care about the Young Men's Association or about boosting the economy. Alright, time to take a peek under the photon. Oh, uh, you. You talk with Yosuke about different things. See you later. It has to go in dark, so you say goodbye to Yosuke. The three of you are sitting at the table. An entertainment news show is on. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be... No, my health isn't an issue. 
Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going <laughs> to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. Yo. Hold on. Oh, sorry, I haven't completely woken up yet. I mean, I'm kind of sleepy right now, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, the shopping district seemed different today when I was passing by. Like, everyone was really hustling more than usual. I wonder what's going on. I smell the guys behind it. Smell? And you're sounding like Teddy. It didn't seem like the cops were involved in what was there, though. Guess I'll try asking around at school. Yo. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. But man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. <laughs> they all want to forget. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So, hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. <laughs> yeah, especially if you don't have those things that uh, don't allow the door to be open, you know? I don't know how it's that cool. You know, um, in case someone comes bring you flowers, and it's not actually flowers, it's actually a knife. It's good to have one of those. That's when being an idol sucks. Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! <laughs> Simp! Cutie pie? What are you, 80? <laughs> but I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? I just tried to go inside there. Maruku tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Risei if I go to her tofu shop? That sounds really weird, actually. Like, I'm going to meet my, my favorite idol, my Oshi, to the tofu shop where she works. That's that's really strange, is it not? I'm not interested. I'm going to be the one playing it cool. Hey, are we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Did you forget about the murders? You're the one that the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Oh, is she going to be a target as well? Wow, another fan. Welcome to the family, Risei Kujikawa. Come on, it's not like Risei started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Risei be connected to the incident so far? I wanted the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably target next. And if she is, 
I narrowed down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji kun, listen real carefully. My smartest friend. If Risei is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who have been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It took a while. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Risei does. Let's do it! Gee, she's all pumped up. I should level up, by the way. Alright, that's the end of the proof and the end of the chapter 2. So I've heard all the gossip going around about Rishi Kujikawa. Those idols don't have normal people problems. They'll have money, they'll never have to compromise in marriage. <sighs> what should I make for dinner tonight? You know, June is Venus month. That's why I'm a little bit happier right now. They say that Japan first implemented the bonus during the Meiji era. On that wonderful culture. Hey, are you listening to me? I'm talking about the wonderful culture. Especially you, Susumukun, you're looking bored. I mean, to be fair. What period did Japan first implement bonus pay? Edo Meiji Taisho. Meiji. Oh, so you are listening, that's correct. Japan be began issuing bonuses during the Meiji period. It's a wonderful culture, it's the joy in labor. So you're all in me thinking I'm just chit chatting, huh? Oh no, this is gonna be on the rest, on the test. Alright! I will decide later. Okay. Because I don't think I'm gonna level up our social link, is it? Okay, let's see... Yumi also wants to hang out. Yep. Oh, so it's gonna rank up after all. Okay, yeah, sure. Junet's grocery department. Do you agree to help with restocking after Yosuke begged you? Welcome! Welcome, one and all. Choi Salmon 59 Jena Slice. Just that advertised. And while you're at it, how about some cheese? Direct from Italy and just 298 yen for today only. Restock this shelf too. You earn 5,500 yen working at Juness. Okay, that's cool. You came with Josuke after work. <sighs> I'm dead tired. They decided on the sale at the last minute and that was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, man. But hey, I'm glad you were there. Thanks. <laughs> you really are a good guy. Oh, Hanamura. What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I'd know if I'd known I would like skip that. Please don't, you got a bonus for today, right? Yeah, I will five hundred yen. I'm trying to save up. Give me a rise. Well, I don't think I can help you there. The point then. Uh, 
uh, to begin talking nearby. I'm really sorry, I'm, I'm just falling asleep. They're talking very loudly. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my friends to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? <laughs> like Saki did? Yosuke is beating his lip. Biting. Was it during our second year? When Saki eloped, I mean. What? Wait. Is eloped what I think it is? Eloped? What? So it is. Yep, apparently she got with a college guy who, who came home and went off with him. Really? But she came right back. Saying she'd save money and live on her own. Okay. Huh? You mean she was dumped? Who knows, she started working here to save money, didn't she? You know, us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. What are you implying? The first gossiping continues. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It's just to hold air, I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about like that, though. We are the only ones who can avenge Saki Senpai. We're special, we're the only ones. So there's no need to bother with outsiders. You're right, man, you're major. No need to hold back. Man, you're major. <laughs> I saw the kid in me inside the TV. I felt I needed to change. I think it's good you came alone. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. Josuke is nodding firmly. You feel your relationship with Josuke has grown deeper. The Yosuke Hanamura social link has reached level 6. Your power to create personas of the Magician Arcana has grown. Yosuke's growth of heart has affected his persona as well. Auto Sukukaja, okay. What was Sukukaja exactly? Increases one alive situation rate for 3 turns. What a pain. Uh, uh, not you. I wonder what it is. I don't know. You spend time talking with Josuke. What? Uh, hi, can you hear? Are you doing anything tomorrow? I want to go inside the TV. We have to get ready for anything. See you later. Okay, I may go. Is that to continue reading? Okay. Okay, it's raining. Should I go or should I not? Which level are we at? 25, 24, 24, 25, 25. Okay, we are around level 25. And I think... Um, the next boss is at around level 35 or so. Let me check it out. Let me check it out. Okay, let's see.
I'm chicken. Mm. So it says, uh, the first three albos is a recommended level 15. That's uh, Yukiko. From then on, just go 10 levels higher. 15, 25, 35. Okay. So I feel like we should go. On the other hand, we have a lot of time, don't we? Hey. Okay. <laughs> I think I I rather do it off stream. Just to get me high drama cloud. Then again, I also need to level up my Pokemon team. So, you participate in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. Nice. Welcome back. I saw on the TV that it's supposed to rain tonight. I mean, it's raining. I don't know if you know, Nanako. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Probably. A figure up here. It seems to be a girl. She's wearing a swimsuit. She looks somewhat like Risa Kuchikawa, the idol you saw on TV yesterday. How did you know she's wearing a swimsuit? Oh. For some reason, it keeps zooming in on her chest and thighs. It's hard to make out of her face as a result. She's going to be kidnapped. Come on, we should go there tomorrow. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, oh yeah, Maruku Tofu. Dude, my heart's pounding already. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, did you hear? It looks like Risei Kujikawa really is here. You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa. Eh? Yeah. Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door. That's the same voice as Teddy, is it not? I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maruku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Why the what, what, what do you hate him like that? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. What do you mean by that? We're on an investigation, got it? You decide to go to the Maru Q Tofu shop. <laughs> huh? Uh, Mr. Detective, did something happen? 
Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kuchikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what <laughs> I was thinking. That was enough. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi. Hmm? Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you... Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? We were just passing by. We came to buy tofu. We came to see Risa. We came to buy tofu. He's totally going to believe that. Tofu. You guys. Oh, um... Well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an Idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan. Big fan of tofu or of Risa? Hmm. Fine, but remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Okay, Papa. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell him everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. Got a point there. Ah, uh, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here, but it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Everyone's living. So shameless. A rumor? What? She's not here? Seriously? <laughs> you sound like the world's about to end. Shut up! Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. Oh. We come in, uh, silk and tofu. Moment of Gang Modoki. Gang Modoki sounds funnier. How'd you know I can't eat tofu? Wow, that's considerate of you. No? Okay. Wait, what's Gang Modoki again? Is it the kind with a rice cake in it? I've never heard about it, honestly. There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and... Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. Let's see here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. Man, That's not an old lady at all. In back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may nope. I help you? <laughs> what the... Then, who's that? What? Uh, are you Rise? Well, <laughs> straight to the point, I see. Yeah, so? <laughs> she, she's so done. She's so done. She's like, leave me alone. I think it's kind of funny that uh, she gave up on being an idol just to buy at a tofu store. No way! Are you really reset? What do you want? Tofu. <laughs> huh? Modoki, oh, please. Sorry, um, uh, some tofu. Modoki. Tofu? 
Which kind? I'm Loki. W which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with Silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh. Um. Kanji, order something. Why are you making me do it? You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmonoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Why does her voice wow. sound kind of? It's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just like, tired. It doesn't fit the the cast. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not shitting on the voice itself. I just just like. It doesn't feel like it belongs here. You know what I mean? Man, but it's really her. I'm so glad I came. Mission complete. I'm so glad I came. What do you mean by that? Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Um. Huh. Have you noticed anything weird lately? Like you right now? Weird? Like stalkers? Like you right now? Are you guys fans of mine? Like, yeah, you right now. I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little... Why'd you let that slip? I mean, is it is it a lie? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. <laughs> you finished checking them out yet or what? Oh, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it... If, if he wasn't, actually. I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um, uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. How do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it? Oh, she it. saw herself. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. Oh, you have friends? You have friends here? But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. Oh, uh, you're dumb. And the bust line. What about it? Huh? What do you mean, huh, Yosuke? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I understand. Yeah, that's true. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Simp. Don't apologize so much. Hold on.
There we go. <laughs> Sam. You're funny. Thank you. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. All right, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks. Sam. Uh, Yosuke Senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Oh, he's gonna die. All because he's a sim. You can eat it for dinner. Okay, no more simping, it seems. Maybe yes. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out, so we'll be leaving now. Okay, no more simping. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. This is stalkers. I see. There were three weird stalkers. Like always. Well, you're an idol, so I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I mean, it could matter. I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. I don't mean to alarm you, but you do have some things in common with the recent victims. Kadoshi. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm, something smells here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... So... Yasugami Hai. The second victim, Saki Konishi. And two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Are we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon to... They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. <laughs> yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? I'm gonna be honest. I told you to keep your hands off this. Listen, this is a job for the police. Are you fighting? 
forget it. I, I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys oh. met Risei Chan? <sighs> yeah. Are you. Are you <laughs> of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. The tense atmosphere continues into the night. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Probably. Again. A figure up here. It's the same girl as before, still wearing a swimsuit. Her chest area and waist are emphasized. This girl... It's Risa Kujikawa. The image is fairly, fairly clear tonight. Hmm... Should you try calling Josuke? Call Josuke, yeah. Seemed a lot creepier than the real Rise, but you could see her face clearly. There's no mistake. Let's all get together as soon as possible tomorrow. He, he didn't seem excited about it. I'm surprised. He decided to go to bed for tonight. Would you like to save your progress thus far? Yes. So about the midnight channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Broadcasted on TV. Exactly. Hmm. So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the midnight channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first. But now I feel it may be true. The but <laughs> I skipped that part. On the midnight channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears, like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to, and for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So... When the killer thinks, I'm going to attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're going to go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. Who are you talking about? What is that? What does that mean? That's kind of far-fetched, I don't know. Always, nothing makes sense. But then again, what has made sense this far? Like, we are literally fighting uh, summoning gods. Hey, Kanji kun, you still with us? You All in a war inside a TV, like. No, uh, what? Uh. You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, 
Of course not. I was, uh, <clears throat> lost in thought. All alone? I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> well, I know there's a shitload of people who've got my number. How about you, Yukiko-senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? Surely that, that guy he done with. No. <laughs> uh, Yukiko? There's always a slight chance, and you just don't realize it. <laughs> but if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, well, I'm drawing a blank. I mean, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, that's kind of difficult. Well, the good thing is, we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. Wait, we get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act. We gotta go with donuts and milk. As long as you don't make it, I'm fine with whatever. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Oh, too much information. What do you mean too much information? As if you it was gross. It? Let's hurry up and get going. Oh, that tea. Hello. Huh? What brings you here? Hey, hold on. My ass is hurting. Oh, holy shit. There we go. That's better. Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. Uh, what did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. You're dumb. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty. Not a bad guy to have around. You sure? You sure it's a good idea to bring Adachi here? We say stand in the shop. Don't stop. The culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past her like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <laughs> <gasps> Look! Uh, who's there? What are you doing, man? Hey, he's running away. Get back here. Stop running, damn it. <laughs> kind of idiot would listen to I'll do it you know what are you gonna do if I get run over what no if the suspect gets injured the police will be held responsible they'll get really angry and uh... stop I'll do it I swear S -s -s get out of here and stop chasing me hey what should we do I call him from the front, not a good idea. I got him from behind. From behind. How are we supposed to get behind him? I don't know, but from the front is not a good idea. Come on, 
on, let's just take him down. But not from the front. All right, on my mark. Shaking my head. Over there, a Martian. And the dumb. Oh! How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like? Shut the hell up, murderer. We're taking your punk ass in. What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb. Wait a second. I mean, he looks kinda innocent to me, you know? I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room. What do you mean, her room? What do you want to peek at her in her room for? Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras. Yep. You're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go. I didn't do anything wrong. I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures. It isn't. <laughs> hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure. But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it really over? Rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Yeah, I do wish. Awesome! <laughs> How can you even think that's the culprit? Like, come on. Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. He's not even a named character. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, he hello. Um... Oh, did you come to see Rise? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Yeah, sure. What, what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. That's not the guy. She left without saying anything? Could that mean... Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree. I can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. You should make sure time to watch the Midnight Channel tonight. We are gonna watch a show. I think. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's see what we find. There we go. Someone appear 
it's an extremely vivid, vivid, vivid Im image. Oh hi. Is this okay? Will I get banned? Like, the Twitch is kinda weird lately, you know. Does everybody know what time it is? Showtime! Am I gonna get a warning from this? Should I cover it? I don't know if it's too hot for TV, but probably it is for Twitch. Well, if a thing is worth doing, it's worth doing all the way. I'm gonna bear it all for you. <laughs> Stay tuned. Suddenly, I am concerned for my Twitch channel. Just because I'm excited. Wait. <laughs> You're right. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Her shadow self is probably doing whatever it wants again. But man, we couldn't prevent the kidnapping this time either. Even when we knew who the target would be. That detective from this afternoon was no help at all. I guess we'll have to do everything our... Anyways, see you tomorrow. Bye. You decided to go to bed early. You were here, student talking. Man, I'm bored. I've got nothing to do. I guess I'll head over to Okina. The movie theater, the shops, and the cafes there, I shall be entertained. It's a great spot for dates too, my girlfriend really digs it there, so I shall see if she wants to go too. Why did you have to do that? Always rubbing your girlfriend in my face. Oh yeah, well, I know that crazy woman at the clothing store makes you buy something dumb, and you chuck some way too intense coffee. Oh man, don't be a hater, I didn't mean it like that. Wait, I, I shouldn't. I should get rid of this. It's no simping time anymore. It's just a fun place to go with anyone, fri friend or girlfriend. You wanna came with next time? What was that for? Oh, hi! Hey, Teddy! You okay? I wasn't crying. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. I mean, to be fair, yeah, we did. <laughs> to be fair, we did. But to be fair, uh, we also almost died like three times. So you didn't really miss anything. We would never do that. But we did. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless bear. I don't even know what I am. I couldn't figure it out. No one would come visit me. Then I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry. But I couldn't. Well, you are hollow inside. Shut up! Stop saying I'm hollow! I mean, you can die. Hollow die. Don't snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on. I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. 
I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Can I try scoring with you two someday? What do you mean? Sure. Go right ahead. Wait, what? Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? <laughs> Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. How's it been over here? Did a girl called Risei Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Risei Kujikawa? Hmm. You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately, huh? I don't think his nose can uh, find out someone's name, you know? I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. Try harder. No, no, no. That's not true. I can stay with you all? Okay, then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. You know, I never, I never uh, wonder why those Teddy dress like a clown. What is that outfit? I can't tell for sure, but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. In order to make any progress, it seems you'll need more information about Risa. You should try asking around town. Okay. There's a lot of things I don't understand. No need to rush it. We'll figure it out. I got your back. I got your back! Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on. Teddy's doing his best to try and find his role in life. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Teddy. Oh, nice. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the star arcana. You may earn an EXP bonus when fusing personas of the star arcana. I'll be waiting here. Okay, time to get some scoops. I don't want to stay in Inoa for a look at this shopping district, it's probably deteriorating. But there sure does seem to be a lot of people moving in from the city. You and Josuke are both like that, right? Even Rizu Kujikawa is coming. Why in the world are all these people coming here? To be fair, I have no idea. It's normal for you to know someone exactly like you. Blah, 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 blah. Into meaningfulness. Their day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into meaningfulness. Day, yeah, yeah. Your affection, your affection to keep it from fear. To make yourself a hero Your affection, your affection, your affection I wonder if any of these guys have any information about Reset Probably not. Let's talk with the girls. But they went from day after day, yeah, yeah, yeah. After day, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very intimate in fullness. After day, yeah, yeah. Your affection, your affection, to keep it from fear. 
Life will to you and to make yourself a hero. Your affection, your affection, your affection. Life will to you when to make yourself a hero. Okay, so there is a paparazzi around here, apparently. No? Oh, Kanji, hello. We still don't have a lot of information. I don't know if there is anyone who knows anything. My wife is really happy about that Risa Kujikawa thing. She's hoping she can get her to do a promo for her store. She's really good at running a business. Meaningful things uh, after day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very into meaningful things uh, after day, yeah, yeah. There ain't nothing to do in this sound, I just think. <laughs> but you know, it's because this sounds not uh, got nothing that you can really make out the stars at night. I never noticed how beautiful they were still I got here. I know you're from the city, so you best enjoy them too. Your affection, your affection, your affection. I will tell you how to make yourself a hero. There are no paparazzis here. Yeah, I bet the paparazzi will know something about Risa. Why will we ask them? The paparazzi. Okay. Or day after day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget some. It's a serious it's a video of God. That's it. That's the exact lyrics. I know. No, not you. After day, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very into meaningful things. After day, yeah, yeah. It has to be in the flood. Maybe uh, the paparazzi is not here now. So let's go to sleep. Life will tell you when to make yourself a hero. You were able to make it to Okina City, you know, have the feel for the local area. Okay. After day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into meaningful things. Oh. Viva the Fashion Revolution! Welcome to Crocofar. I am Reiko Osa, charismatic fashionista. Crocofar has a wide selection of clothing for ladies and men. Fashion is passion. Now let's start a revolution. Please consult me if you'd like some tips on coordinating a fashionable look. By the way, you've caught my eye. I must say you're a rare bird. Your cool exterior doesn't completely hide your surging manliness. My fashion rather is ping ping pinging, comrade. It's for you, I'll make an exception and personally coordinate some charismatic ensembles for you. I'd like to introduce you to a new arrival. We've got lots of swimsuits, each one of which has my highest recommendation. Start your summer off right. The sexiness oozing out of whoever wears these will outscorch the summer sun. 
Hit me green with MB. In buy, MB. The style is to die for. I'm Reiko Sekor, the Manic Fashionista. Alright, uh, Toto. Okay, here I am again. Let's go to sleep. What day we from? Day after day, yay, yay. Oh. You have to watch TV with Nanako. It's a documentary about a young man searching for his real father. Nanako is staring into the TV. Real father? Hey, big bro. What do they mean by real? Related to you by blood, a person you love a lot, always by your side. Okay, if we're going with the Phoenician, it will be the first one. But personally, I don't feel like that's true. A person you love a lot, or is always by your side, is more correct. Always by your side. <laughs> I see, then you're my real big brother. Because you're always home every day. Yeah, that wasn't the right option. I, I thought about it once I clicked. Maybe... Maybe I'm not real to him? Daddy doesn't come home because I'm not his real daughter? That's not true. But, but that's not here. Nandika doesn't seem to be satisfied with that answer. I don't Mommy. care. Mom, why did she leave me? When mom was still here, we all went out together. We picked flowers at Samegawa. Nandika talked about, uh, some about her memories. He understood Nanako's true feelings a little better. Hey, big bro. It's about Nanako's bedtime. What should you do? Listen to her talk. Uh, but she has something to say. Um, um, then let's play the war game. Then we'll start with W from War. W W Worm. You play that war game with Nanako. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went and went to your own room. What? Well, it's a stormy. Yo. Morning, Rinku Kun. It's a look. It looks like it's going to rain all day today. They say that it's not going to last until tomorrow, so I don't think the folks are gonna, going to appear, but I'll be okay for a while. Yeah, you're right. See all the stuff that's on the Midnight Channel lately is pretty rough. We need to make sure we are ready and rescue her before things get completely out of hand. Yeah, let's see if we find the uh, paparazzi today. Probably not because it's raining, right? Why? Oh, how's it going? Oh, you came to ask about Risa Kujikawa. You're looking for information on Risa too? Well, how about this? Why don't we exchange information? You tell me what you know, I'll tell you what I know. The people in this shopping district are making it hard for me to do any information gathering. I mean, uh, is there anything else I can do? You just have to give him some information or reset. She's different on TV. I think she's in this town. Hmm, as I thought. To be honest, I used to do a little digging into Reset's private life. I was surprised to discover she's totally different than on TV. You'll never recognize her in real life. Though, when you think of an idol, you should honestly just assume manufactured personality too. You seem to know some other things about Reset. Maybe you should inquire further. 
If you find out anything new, you you know where to find me. Maybe you hear some juicy gossip about reset from a big fan. Just swing on by, I'm all yours. Okay, so now we have to find a fan. Okay. So let's see, a fan, a fan, a fan, a fan. Are you a fan? La la, rain, rain, fall for rainy days. Here the sun as it hits the ground. La la, rare materials may be found. Peachy, peachy, chapu, chapu, la la. Hmm? Am I singing it wrong still? Maybe it's because I'm in front of this weird store. You are weird, not the store. So no, I don't think I'll find anything today. So I'll, I should try again tomorrow. Let's go to Aya. Let's go to Aya. Aya, 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 Aya. You accepted the rainy day special Mega V Pole challenge. You still can't see the rise. You begin to suspect that your ball is a portal to the mid dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You try your best to finish the rainy day special Mega V Pole challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased, your knowledge has increased, your intelligence has increased. Aya, uh, too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon, thank you. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we find anything. Bye, Nanako. See you night. Okay, let's see. I want to go to the flow plane first and see if I find the dog too. Oh! It seems that the dog is still worried of you. What should you do? Sing. Ah, oh, come on. Annoying. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. So it doesn't seem that these are. Let's look um, down the stairs. Maybe this girl? Oh, this is a twin. So no, not here. Or maybe at the school. I didn't even think about the school. I don't see anyone new here. So I think it's at the school, which means that I can't do anything today, right? Because the school is closed. Is it not? Yeah. Then that's about it.
Nyom. If you're getting completely lost, you stumble upon the road uh, to school again. But you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. You'll need to ride around a little more to get better acquainted with the area. Nice. Okay, let's see if we get close enough. Apparently not. Oh. Don't get caught down carried away just because someone's got a rain idol is back in town. That's the reason for all two out of the loop morons. All she does are variety shows and silly commercials. What's the damn point of running your mouse? Now some half wit whose only talent is appearing on shows for idiots. This class seems to be full of students without their own identities. Isn't that right? Why the hell do you all look so upset? Send your ass up, Susumu. Answer this. What is identity? Uniqueness, difference, individuality. Individuality, right? Ah, I see you already done the reading, smartass. <laughs> anyway, that's right. Identity is individuality. And the individuality is the feeling that you are authentic and genuine. Those with identity will never take a leg into idols like that. Your, you immature kids gain your identity by mimicking the idols you love. But I doubt that those who imitate others have any true identity of their own. Yay! Oh, hi. Oh, sorry, I'm just kind of tired. Oh, yeah, practice today. I'll see you later. But I need to see if the fun is around here somewhere. You not here, at least. After day, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't. I don't think I could care less. Okay. I can't believe it. I mean, it's a reset. Inaba doesn't really seem like her kind of town, but wow, it's exciting. Okay, you don't know either. What about you? I don't think most people can generally say that they like everyone they meet, but Senpai is special. She'll help you study, she picks... What are you talking about? Let's go up. Your affection, your affection, your affection. You're walking so you don't count. What about you? We're on the street is a Risi Kujikawa's going missing. I heard this other weird rumor too. Kim Morong is supposedly a fan of Risi's? But if that's true, it could be possible. Oh no way, you think so? An idol is coming to town? All of you do self-study while I buy tickets. Yeah, did I do a good Kim Morong impression? No. No, no to be honest, you didn't. But a good try though. In the seat of this as you pick it all cards. No one's here? You! Wasn't there one of your classmates who was interested in this girl? You're faking to keep her from fear. I will tell you why to make yourself a hero Your affection, your affection, oh, your affection 
fall to you to make yourself a hero. Oh. oh. This is Kujikawa, eh? Oh, you're not the only guy looking to get this coupon on her love life. In fact, I know at least one boy who considers himself one of her biggest fans. He's probably still hanging around here. He hasn't gone home yet. Oh. It must be this guy, right? I don't really care about the... Oh. So he's here, after all. And it's a dude. You? Hey, man. Shh. Hey. I totally know this already, but that doesn't mean I don't want to hear it from someone else, you know? So you gotta tell me about Richie Kujikawa. What happened? What? No way, no way, no way. That's just not freaking possible, man. This is so impossible. You sure about that? Yeah, that's it. Okay. So he must be here somewhere. In the bathroom? Oh. You use the time to reflect. You realize that you're not doing anything with your garden. Maybe you should try growing something. No, I don't think so. Let's see... Get out! Let's see around here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. What they whip for players today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? No, oh, okay. You're a girl, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. We said I'm her biggest fan. I'm like die hard, right? Said there are two. Uh, no. Well, ask me anything you want to know. A real reset fan like me should be able to give you the minutest details. Oh, you just want like a status update? Well, nothing's been bigger than the bomb she dropped about taking time off for a little air and air. Her blog may have some hints about why, but... Well, there are a lot of theories out there. As a fan, I'm devastated, but I guess there's not much I can do about it. If you want more up to the main info, shouldn't you be asking someone in the media or something? Maybe I'll send a letter through her fan club. Hmm. I wonder if those will even reach her now. It seems like Risa has a lot on her mind. Perhaps you should ask around. Oh god. Did you hear it says it's coming to our shopping district? Oh, I can't help but wonder what the reason is behind that sudden announcement of a hiatus he made. I wonder if something happened. I really want to know. The paparazzi, they're really here. This is totally unrelated, but what language does paparazzi come from, anyway? What a weird word. Isn't that from Italian? Okay, so... It's either that one guy or no one else here. I talk with everyone, I think. So let's try talking with paparazzi now. Okay, nice. Uh, but, but the paparazzi is not here now? Are you kidding me? 
Your affection, your affection took it back from fear. Let's feel that you want to make yourself a hero. Your affection, your affection, your affection. Okay, let's do this then. You see how me hide from a club? You participate in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. The expression has increased. Yumi isn't here. The lead role Yumi is supposed to play for the concourse is being played by the vice president. Did Yumi go to the hospital? You decided to visit the hospital after practicing. You miss it in here, looking gloomy. Rinke kun why are you? I was worried about you just passing by. I got hurt. I was worried about you. Rinke kun Really? Only one? I'm sorry, you came because I didn't show up to practice, right? Mom collapsed. She works from sunup to sundown, and then she comes here to look after him every day. The doctor said it was exhaustion. She'll be released from the hospital soon, but she's pushing herself too far. She's so stupid. It must be tough. Don't say that about her. You should support her. I don't think it's this, because it will sound like I'm lecturing her, you know? But I think this is fine. Or maybe it must be tough. It must be tough. It is. Nothing matters anymore. No, I have to look after mom like she looked after him. If I don't quit the drama club and get a job, mom will just make herself sick again working all the time. I'm stepping down from my role. The lead role, I had all my lines memorized, my script was full of notes. I practiced by myself all this time. But there's no point now. Nothing goes my way. It's all because of my parents, they're both holding me back. It can be held, stop acting like a child, take care of yourself too! Thank you. Thank you. You didn't seem very reliable when we first met, but you know, you're pretty kind after all. Oh come on, only one! Jimmy smiles and looks relieved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for complaining like this. It's not like you have anything to do with what's happening in my life. That's right, I don't. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. But I'm happy you came here to see me. It makes me think I could hang in there a little longer. Oh, come on, only one! But since you were able to support Yumi in a time of need, you feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened slightly. I'm going to visit my mom's room now. I'll see you at school. It's okay. Jimmy walks off sadly. You decide to go home. Okay. Time to read then. I'm getting out of hooks. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can talk with the paparazzi. Okay. She's different to me. I think she's stressed. I think she's in this town. So she's worried about something, huh? Maybe it has something to do with... No, actually, she's probably just worried about the TV coverage regarding the shocking hiatus. 
I just heard that Reset was getting tired of her made-up personality. The real me and the different me who has to act like an idol. She couldn't stand living two, li two lives anymore or something like that. Well, you didn't give me anything new, but thanks for the information, I can at least turn this into something. And she was worrying about her real self and her idol self. She was surely worrying about her true self. You seem to have gained some insight regarding Risa. You, sh you should report to Teddy. Okay. Then, we are going to report right now. And we are going to save. Hello, Emily. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy. I'm doing fine. How about you? You look like you found some clues. Yep. Did you find out more about this girl, Rise Chan? Yep. Uh huh. Her real self. I see. She's just like me. The delicate, sentimental type. Then. Hmm. Ah, there's something out there. Is this it? Did I find her? Follow me. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. What is this place? It's all dark. Oh. Oh, wow. Like the kind you always find in resort towns. Oh, I think you're right. Uh, oh, but we don't have one. Our inn is not like that. Huh. So this is a strip joint, huh? Yeah, I imagine it must be tough. Well, good luck with them then. With that then. <laughs> Strip? Strip? <laughs> I know what that is. It's the thing zebras <laughs> have, right? Exactly. Oh. Strip. Like a zebra, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so bright here. Even with the glasses on, my eyes hurt. Doesn't anyone get the joke? Oh, it was a joke? Let's try one more time. Strip. It's something zebras have, huh? Not even Jukiko is laughing. Huh? Zebra? Uh, sorry, what are we talking about? <laughs> Not even here is laughing. I... I won't say it again. You have pinpoint Risa's location. All that's left is to rescue her. You should prepare well to make sure the rescue operation goes smoothly. Okay, um, ba 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 bum, ba 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 bum. Okay. I'll try to level up off stream. I'll try. I can't promise anything though. Uh, but now. Up, 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 up. Oh. Here I am. Time for me to end the stream. I'm kind of tired, not gonna lie. I'm feeling really sleepy. But thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Um, to the stream. <laughs> I'll be streaming um, Jakusa Zero tomorrow uh, on YouTube. It's going to be the finale, okay? So please, I, I really hope to see you guys there. Um, if you're watching the pod on YouTube, then uh, that already happened. <laughs> <laughs> so please check um, the Yakuza Zero stream pod, okay? I'm pretty sure uh, it's not worth missing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming. I had to leave now. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Let's keep having fun, targets. See you. Uh, bye.